What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only paid to drive and of course paid to drive vlogs coming at you. I hope all of you guys are having a great one out there. Uh, if you guys deliver for any of the apps in the gig economy, such as Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely, definitely, definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That is correct, everybody. And uh, make sure to hit that like button down below. It lets YouTube know I'm doing an all right job here. So I wanted to read this uh, email I got from Jerry, and he spells his name J-E-R-R-Y. Uh, so everyone say thank you to Jerry. Now, this is definitely frustrating, okay? I have not seen this particular situation, so everybody listen up. So he says the following. Uh, Hi, Pete, has this happened to you before? Um, they didn't pay me for an order that I delivered since they removed it from my app um, before I could mark it delivered. I couldn't mark myself as arrived at the restaurant or customer address. I don't know if it's my phone, the GPS, or the app. Thanks, Jerry. So I'm gonna read to you the message that he sent, okay? And uh, I'll, I'll tell you what happened here. Uh, so he contacts Grubhub here and he says, I delivered an order for Pollo Campero yesterday, but I couldn't mark myself as arrived at the restaurant. The order was not ready and I had to wait 10 minutes or more. They were out of stock on the beans, so I had to call the customer to choose another side dish. He chose the yuca fries. I had to wait for them to cook the fries. I finally delivered the order and the order disappeared from the app and I was not able to mark it as delivered. I tried calling customer care and was told I needed to wait five minutes on hold. I finally gave up and drove home. Can I get paid for this order? Thanks. So then Grubhub gets back to him and says, Hi, Jerry. Thanks for reaching out to driver payment. We apologize for the confusion, but we reviewed your driver app's history. It appears this order was unassigned from you by our dispatch team. We're sorry, but in light of this information, we're not able to adjust your pay for this day. For us to be able to compensate the order will require proof, which can be a photo of the food at the delivery address or a screenshot of the GPS at the delivery address. Thank you again for your time and please let us know if, you, if we can help with anything else. So in my opinion, that's absolutely ridiculous because he did the work, okay? Um, he says to him, he, uh, Jerry responds saying, sorry, I didn't take a picture since I was able to hand it to the customer. Can you ask the customer if he received the order for proof? Did the customer pay for the order or give any tip for the order? And then there was no response uh, to that. And he goes, please see attached for my Google timeline for proof that I delivered this order from Pollo Campero. Uh, I had to wait for the order from 3.36 to 3.52. I drove 8.4 miles for 13 minutes to the customer's address. Uh, I delivered the order around 4.05 p.m. I handed it to the customer. The delivery was removed from my app, so I tried to call customer service, but was put on hold, and then I drove home. That's all the information that Jerry provided. Jerry should be paid for that order, hands down. And this can happen on any of the apps. It could happen on DoorDash. It could happen on Uber Eats, but Jerry should be paid for this. What do you guys think? In the chat over here or the comments down below, do you think Jerry should be paid for this order because let's face it, he did the work, okay? He even handed it to the customer, but then as he handed it to the customer, it was like unassigned for some strange reason. There was obviously some sort of issue or discrepancy uh, with all of this, and I, who the heck knows why? Who the heck knows why? I, I can tell you right now, Grubhub has unassigned orders from me, but never when I had the order in my possession. It was always like if I was on the way to the restaurant, like if I drove 10 minutes or whatever and I'm about to pull up and then it's unassigned. And I'm like, dude, what is the point of doing that? Because, you know, like they're like, oh, well, we unassigned it to give it to another driver. So you gave it to another driver. I literally was pulling up in the parking lot. But this situation is even worse, mainly for the fact that this, this driver, Jerry, had the order handed it to the customer he completed the order and then it was unassigned so so does grubhub still get paid like you know does what happens here because if the customer tipped on top of it he should at least get the tip 
or some sort of an adjustment. This is this is something that needs to get investigated more. But because Grubhub, you know, could kind of care less here, you know, what do they care? Because again, for Grubhub, they already are anticipating, you know, orders being canceled or being not completed and stuff like that. So what the hell do they care? But I'll tell you right now, this this just should not fly. Has anyone in the chat or the comments had a situation like this where they actually handed the order to the customer and then it was unassigned out of your queue? Like you couldn't even mark it as delivered. Let me know down below. And if you guys ever wanna send me anything, email it to paytodrivestories at gmail.com or you can send me a message on Patreon at patreon.com slash pay to drive. Links in the description or in the pin top comment if you would like to sign up. These people give a little something every month. And uh, <clears throat> my way of saying thank you is shouting you guys out in a uh, in the new videos like this one. <clears throat> so when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. Uh, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Brian Richardson, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, the v v Valerie Brown. That's right, everybody. Links down below if you would like to sign up uh, or in the pin top comment. And also, please, everybody, make sure you're saving money with your gas with the Get Upside Gas app. What is it? It's a free app for your smartphone. Links in the description. All you do is download it. You go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic if you ask me. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description down below. And of course, everybody, I'm not wearing one today, but go to paytodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. That's right, everybody. Everything's on sale. T-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. And of course, everybody, if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment in the chat or the comments down below saying end 725, end 725, and you will be good to go, my friends. And of course, hit that red subscribe button, get started today. It's free. Tap that notification bell and set it to all so you're always notified when I make a new video. And of course, Hit that like button down below on your way out. Let's get 150. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. All right, that's it for me, guys. We'll see you on the next one. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Be well, drive safe, and be excellent to each other.